Hello everyone, and welcome back to our universe. Today, we'll be answering the question, why is the Earth round? So when you see a picture of Earth from space, it looks perfectly round, spherical, like a blue and white marble. And when you see it even further out in space, i.e. at the edge of our solar system, a famous astronomer called it a pale blue dot. But looks can be deceiving. Our very own Earth isn't actually round. It's called an ellipsoid, which is kind of squatty and fat. I'm sorry to offend our very own Earth, but it is a kind of pudgy planet. The Earth is fatter in the middle than both of the polar ends. The center of the equator is the fattest part of them all. You might not be able to tell it in any of the pictures, but it is true. And this is because the equator diameter is bigger than the polar diameter. For example, the Earth looks more like a rugby ball shape instead of a football shape. This is only slightly, and it doesn't mean that there's going to be any planets in the universe that actually look like rugby balls. There is a reason behind this look of the planet. This is because the Earth is constantly turning and using centrifugal force that pushes everything into the center of the planet and outwards. The Earth, like all of the other planets in the solar system, were formed 4.6 billion years ago, when asteroids began crashing into one another and sticking together. And when these asteroids were slamming into each other, this started off the spinning. And the more it was spinning, the more closely packed everything became, until it started looking like a round ball. And as it grew larger, the mass grew as well, meaning that it was stronger in gravity, which made it push and hold together even more. And this spinning and the gravity crushed the material so much that it became a spherical object. These spherical objects are now what we call the planets. We might think that the ground we are standing on is firm, but thousands of feet underground are tectonic plates, and these are consistently on the move. This movement is slow and steady, and it takes millions of years to make any changes. When there is a sudden shift in these plates, this is an earthquake, or if it's in the middle of the ocean, it's a tsunami. A tsunami is another movement on the surface of the Earth, but these create massive ocean tides. Also, these tidal shifts happen every day from the gravity of the moon when it pulls on the oceans. These are all kinds of movements that have a drastic effect on the shape of the Earth. These effects push and pull on the Earth so it bulges. There are also other things that can happen on the Earth that can change its shape. Volcanic eruptions under the oceans and as well on the land can be very violent. This causes the Earth to shake and shift, bringing hot magma underneath the surface and creating new land. Deep beneath the surface of the Earth, there is a lot of pressure pushing to the top. And this pressure can push up and create new mountains, and all of this can cause the Earth to alter its shape. There are scientists in many countries that take notes and follow all these changes on Earth. And from this data and research, they know the processes of what's been going on for billions of years, and that it's part of a natural order. This natural order is basically saying that the Earth is keeping itself stable through earthquakes and volcanoes and tsunamis. And with this information that they keep on record, they can try and figure out when a volcano might erupt or where there might be an earthquake. Just because we can't see that the Earth is not perfectly round doesn't mean we can't still call it round. Because to all of us, it's still our blue and white marble in our solar system, the place that we call home. So, I hope that's given you a good insight into why the Earth is round or why the Earth is not round, and also probably a little bit on solar system formation. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you really, really, really enjoyed it, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.